Let's go. Good afternoon. It's Derek Tant here on my back porch. Having a pipe. In this pipe, I've got the subject of this video. <laughs> the Margate by Esoterica in this Rex Walden volcano. Now this was supposed to be a video of me like opening up the tin, loading up the pipe, smoking it and offering my first impression. Well, I did all that the other night, but I guess my iPad was malfunctioning. There was an update that I had not installed yet. So I recorded the video before the update installed, then it installed and I couldn't upload it to YouTube. So that video, while it exists on my iPad, will not be, it, it, I can't put it on YouTube. So I still have some of the, the Margate that I put in the pipe left over and I'm coming back to it. It's very nice. But that doesn't mean we can't reopen <coughs> the Margate. Margate Esoterica <clears throat> from 2012. This was selected by you to be some of the, the my year-end holiday smoking blends. So there was this paper in there. Now you can see the juices have soaked through to give it a little discoloration. It's still, it's still nice and moist. And when I, when I opened it before this, the, the, the tobacco was very tightly packed together. Now, you know, I've, I've pulled it a little bit apart. You can see it's kind of a thinner ribbon cut. I, I think I was expecting it to be a little bit more, more coarse but it's actually pretty, it's pretty thin. It's pretty, uh, you know, it's very finely cut. Yeah, there's a little, <clears throat> there's a little, there's a little chunky ribbon in there, but you know, ooh, and it's got, it's got plume <laughs> on it. So, yeah, it, uh, it means, it is. It comes in the tin quite moist, but that is that isn't going to take any drying time, and it needs a little bit right out the tin. So this is a, a full English blend, which means you're supposed to have a lot of lot of Kia in there, and it does. But this being uh, six, almost seven years old, that lot of Kia, the smoky, the 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 potent smokiness of it, has kind of subsided. This is not pirate cake. Not that it ever was. Um, what this has been replaced with is it just has this nice leathery, uh, sweet kind of, and a little bit of this pungency. Not, I mean, kind of like a, kind of like the Oriental funk. It's got a little bit of that. Um, I remember being a little bit more in your face as you were op when I opened it, the the wild the wild aroma has kind of subsided a little bit. But when I was smoking it the other night, it wasn't. You know, I think it was a little too moist, and so I was still getting some of that. I was getting more of what I was describing as leathery sweetness. That's what I was tasting. So let's get this relit and I will offer an impression of what I think it tastes like now. And I'm just gonna run a quick pipe cleaner through there. By the way, I gotta I'm gonna have a giveaway going up coming up probably in in January. I'm gonna try to give away some tobacco, uh, maybe some coffee, uh, some and some beard care products. I've been sent some products to review from beardedcrew.com and I gotta say it real they're they're really good. Their beard oil and the soap are actually pretty phenomenal. So 
head on over to beardedcrew.com to check it out. See what they have. What I've tried is is very high quality so far, and I'll probably be switching to them. How's that for a little in-video advertisement? <laughs> Not that I got paid anything. <laughs> mm. So yeah. So you get you get like a little bit of it's like soft, leathery earthiness. This is it's nothing. I mean it's it's very subtle. It's nuanced. It's not like a It's not like Sammy Gowith's Black 20 where you're it's like you're smoking a, a steak or something. No, this is just kind of this is kind of mild. It's very nice. It's a little sweet. It's a little leathery. It's just, it's very, it's very nice. I could actually see the, I could see myself smoking this as a, as I'm, as kind of a, I guess it's mild because it's aged. So I guess my advice is this probably has a lot more upfront flavor when it's fresher, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of subtleties in this flavor now. that I think can be enjoyed. It's very nice. It's probably more like uh, you know, nightcap when you start when you when you first open it. Now it's it's more like early morning pipe or whatever, you know. It's very nice. So I'll have to uh you know, next time I'm in a like a brick and mortar and I see a fresh tin of Margate, I might have to snatch one up and uh, try it, try it fresh. I've never before had a lot of Kia blend that I thought was like worse with age because I've tried some, I've tried some fresh, I've tried some aged and I always think even though they change, they benefit with age. I'm thinking this stuff might actually be this might be if if the if the lot of Kia is more up front um it might be a little bit more better fresh so but I don't know so um uh, either way it's a it's a very nice English blend uh lots of nice little flavors this will be one to to sit and sip on um, so yeah, that's it. I'm looking forward to Christmas, which is just a couple days away. Looking forward to the new year where I can crack back into my, uh, my old collection, uh, of, of blends. I've been trying new stuff this year. Uh, this is the first time I've ever tried Margate. So I'm looking forward to getting back to some of my old favorites, you know, the Frog Morton Cellars and the, you know, Father Dempsey's and the Quiet Nights. Uh, the Escudo, the Cavies mixture. I'm looking forward to getting all that back. But this stuff is pretty good. So thank you for watching. God bless. Smell my beard.